Apple Health is a built-in digital fitness app. How to use it on the iPhone? Let's find out in this video. Opening it the first time shows a few questions to set up your profile. I have already done that, but it will be like this. After this, you will see the summary interface. Here we have some options that we'll cover one by one. The first are steps. Your iPhone automatically counts steps as you walk. If you have an Apple Watch, you can use that to count more detailed insights. We can adjust the date range from the top. Further down is more data. Highlights display your today and average daily steps. When you are in an activity, you will find this add button to add the data. Each has specific options. For steps, we get the date, time and step count. Let's put in 250 for now. Great. This here is your other health data related to steps. This screen shows your burned energy, steps and resting energy, which is also called your basal metabolic rate. Also your active energy, walking speed and minutes are here. Some of this data is calculated through the Apple Watch. To edit this summary interface, tap this edit button. Here you will find all the supported activities. To add any of those, hit the star button. I'll track my weight. We can also add past data to see this chart changing. This displays your struggle and achievements over time. We can also browse all the supported activities from the browse tab. Again, in each of those there's an add button to add the data. Apple Health uses the same type of options in each activity. So it kind of becomes easy after a few times. This is the sharing tab. We can share our health data with someone or ask someone to share it with us. I don't know why, but I tried sharing data with a friend, but it kept giving me an error. But let's see how to share anyway. I'll share my data with someone. On the next screen, insert their Apple ID. Ensure the email is selected by tapping this arrow. Then just follow the steps and when required, enable the activities you want to share. Finally, tap this share button to send the request. They'll be able to see the data. Let's set up your medical ID. Medical ID is a feature to record your data and share it with required departments. You'll find the option here, but if you don't, go to the profile area and find it. Fill in as much information as possible. You can choose an emergency contact from your contacts. The lock screen visibility is enabled and to share this data during an emergency call, check the last option. Tap done on the top to save it. Now here's how to access this data from the lock screen. When the phone is locked, if someone clicks this emergency button and then this medical ID button, they can see your provided data. We can also add pills and the Apple reminders to tag them. Tap this button and then put in the name. Choose the type. You can add other data here. After that is the frequency and time. Choose an appropriate icon and adjust the colors. Then tap done to get reminders. Apple Health also supports recording your sleep. Click get started. Let's adjust the time and hit next. Sleep focus blocks notifications and activates the wind down mode 45 minutes before your bedtime. You can skip this part if you want to. Then tap done. Like the rest, we can add data by clicking the top button. Add your sleep and wake up time and hit the next button. This is the state of mind feature. You can log your mood and keep track of it. It's usually on the summary tab, but if you can't find it, go to browse and look it up. Then click log. Choose an option from the screen. Then adjust this slider and tap next. Then we have to choose all the relevant feelings from here. Next are some other options. You can see the historical data just like other activities. Apple Health is more than what we cover today. For now, this is the end. Thanks for watching and take care.